I'm Tiffany. And, and we, we are Eating, Eating in the City. City. Yeah, so today we have a place called Mr. Potato. Um, Amber selected the place that she always looks at places usually. Um, and I've never heard of them before, so I'm like, I don't have any type of preconceived notion of anything. But they are known for baked potatoes that are kind of loaded. So I got the jerk mm -hmm. chicken baked potato and it has grilled chicken breast, it looks like chicken breast, grilled mm -hmm. chicken breast, shredded cheese, onions, mm -hmm. peppers, and jerk sauce. Yeah. It smells good. It does smell it good. very good, actually. Yes. And then I have the super seafood um, baked potato. So Which mine so comes with shrimp, crawfish, and a fried lobster tail. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, I didn't hold these damn Bell 70s sleeves, which y'all know I'm a 70s child at heart. And I was like, why did I even wear this for this episode? Because, I mean, I'm cute and all that, but this is a messy dish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I might have to, like, roll my sleeves up because I don't know how this is going to go. But um, okay. you ready for our thumbnail? Yes. Whatever kind of thumbnail we're going to be able to okay. get. Okay. Let's just get it a little closer. Let's just do this. Okay. Yeah. That works. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, I've never had them either. How you so heard about them? Then? Uh, Instagram. Instagram somehow they always put these food places, probably because I follow so many food places. <laughs> they, they somehow it's called data. Well, algorithm. The algorithm. They always it's called my time monitoring life. what you look at and what you watch and giving you what you need, what you want. So I don't know how. That's how I found out about Mr. Potato. Um they were a food truck first, apparently, and then they got their restaurant, um, brick and mortar here during the pandemic, during this year, or during last year, rather. So, yeah, I'm excited. I've been stalking them for a little while now, so I'm excited to see. I asked for sour cream on the side, but I digress. You need a dairy. I know. You need no extra dairy. Let's get y'all a nice little close. close I know, that's what I eat. How do you? I did, okay. Thoughts? Mm. <laughs> so, my thoughts so far are mm -hmm. it does taste good. Mm -hmm. I like a particular type of jerk seasoning. Mm -hmm. Like, when it comes, so y'all should know, when it comes down to New Orleans food and Jamaican food, I am very much so a stickler about flavors. And what you call it and how it tastes and if it's authentic and it's not so what i will say is that though this seasoning is not a traditional jamaican jerk seasoning it is it tastes just like the common flavor that people use when they say it's a jerk flavored okay dish if that makes sense like so if you go to a restaurant and they say oh jerk wings mm -hmm. jerk chicken jerk pasta it tastes like that, but that taste is not like the authentic jerk Jamaican seasoning. Y'all know from a previous episode, and I'll try to insert that in this video, when we had something we ate and I had my jerk seasoning um, out and I was talking about food. it. We, when we had a uh, boss Oh, when we, when we had a Jamaican, Jamaican restaurant. Yeah. Uh, so, that seasoning is like a traditional this is jerk flavor this is a jerk seasoning mm -hmm. this is not that it tastes really good but it's not that so it's like one of those things where it's not jerk it's like jerk adjacent okay i see all right hood adjacent <laughs> it's like jerk adjacent you know but it tastes good mm -hmm. got a nice little kick to it they think if they put spice on it that's gonna automatically make it jerk the same people think if they burn something they make it cajun um, yeah, you know, I like mine too. I do like mine. I'm getting used to the fact that, well, like this new concept of baked potatoes because I'm from the old school. Uh, <laughs> I like sour cream chives, I like that base on my, model baked potato, right? Well, I like that. On my, that's what makes the baked potato, and like with these newer 
trendy potato, so to speak. They don't really put those toppings on. Um, they not. You know what? They have one. They, like they, they have. They have a little bit, a regular little baked potato. Right. But why did they put it on this potato? See, this. I think it will complement it. If it has the sour cream and, yeah. and the chives and all that. Mm hmm I think it will go good with it. Right. You want to try it? I do. Mm -hmm. I think it will go good with it if they had that on there. Oh, I think everything on here is fried. I was cons I was wondering about that. I thought that the shrimp and the, the I shrimp would be. I thought the shrimp would be grilled. Yeah, I thought the shrimp and the crawfish would be grilled. Actually, right. It'd have been ideal if all everything was grilled. But I thought the only thing that would be fried was the lobster. That's a big lobster tail. Y'all see this? I thought the only thing that was gonna be fried was that. I'm trying to see what this sauce tastes like because that's what I was really interested in. Because I almost got there pasta mm -hmm. because the pasta i think sound like it had the same type of sauce as on this mm -hmm. but on the pasta mm -hmm. really good mm -hmm. i would prefer more it's like a cheesy sauce i think yeah what i prefer more of the cajun sauce than the cheese right 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 it's good. It, I, mean, I, I don't it's good. It is good. It's a, it's a completely different. You want to taste this without this chicken, obviously, but just the jerk sauce mm -hmm. and the peppers and the um, potato. All right. It's like a no asking you. If oh, you you're asking. asking you want to taste the potato <laughs> without the. You like yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Cause she all in the food. I was asking if you want to taste it without the chicken, obviously, but just like the jerk sauce, sauce and the you know like the sauce, the peppers and the get some of the sauce. So you can like taste the yeah and the peppers. You can taste like the flavorings of it. It's a completely different flavor profile than what you have. Wow. Okay. Right. It's like it's not kind of a barbecue. It it do kind it's of like have a barbecue <coughs> mm -hmm. flair. To yeah, me. it does. <laughs> but not really jerk, right? Right. I wouldn't say yeah. jerk, but um, it is good. Right. That's why I say jerk adjacent. Okay. It's jerk adjacent. Like they could have took the chicken and marinated in some Walker's wood. Mm -hmm. And if you marry the chicken in some Walker's wood, you can make your own jerk barbecue sauce by using the Walker's wood and make your sauce, your, your barbecue sauce from scratch. And then cook the, the chicken, put that sauce on top, and then you can saute your onions and all that. Put on it. I mean, come on now, baby. I don't cook, but I know how. <laughs> Y'all, check out this lobster. Mm, that's it's very period. meaty and like juicy. Mm -hmm. And that's on period. The girl knows how to cook. She's from Hollywood. How can she not? <laughs> oh, she knows. Whether she does mm -hmm. it or not is another story, but she knows how. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it definitely has more of a barbecued feel, taste. Right. It kind of reminds me of this. It's, you know, it's like a barbecue, it's like a barbecue chicken potato. More. Right. I would say that. We that's spicy. So that, that's the jerk aspect, the spice. But it's good though. I'm mm -hmm. gonna call it jerk, but it's good. We had this place when I was growing up back home that had the best baked potatoes. In my opinion, shout out to my Houstonians, Lucas Barbecue. I know y'all know about that. I feel about like Houstonians. <laughs> yes. Girl. I didn't know what y'all, I never thought about what y'all called yourself. <laughs> but yes, y'all remember Luther's. Unfortunately, they're no longer in business because Papa's Barbecue came in and Oh. Dominated everything. Papa's, you know, the people that own Papa Do's, oh. Papa's Barbecue. Yeah, that's some good food. Papa Cito's. Yeah. Oh, I know Papa Cito's was like, oh, duh. Mm -hmm. It's all part like of the Papa Do's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like, I like Papa Do's. So. Mm -hmm. Papa Do's is good. They used to have like this um, shredded beef baked potato. That's what that kind of reminded me of. Yeah, it's like a barbecue, it's like a spicy barbecue chicken baked potato. Mm -hmm. It tastes really good. Just don't think that if you are a jerk kind of sore and you've had authentic real jerk, mm -hmm. and I mean authentic real jerk, there's a restaurant here that does not have authentic real jerk that I will not be naming. <laughs> but okay. if you've had authentic real jerk chicken, then you would know that, okay, this is not jerk. But mm -hmm. it does taste good. If you do want like a spicy barbecue chicken, Potato, then yes. Mm. But if you're looking for real jerk, <laughs> you need that. <laughs> I feel like I just Girl, want to she don't need that on now. That potato <laughs> is seasoned well. I like it. Is, it is seasoned well. All right, blood pressure. Mm. It is seasoned well. 
Mm. And it has a nice flavor. Amber did not need that little sprinkle of homies. It added a nice little zest to it, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a good potato, though. Mm-hmm. I would definitely try them again. Um, sure. I would even venture to say I wouldn't mind getting this again. I just know now what to expect from a flavor perspective because I just, which I kind of knew when I was ordering it. I really wasn't expecting it to be like an authentic jerk, jerk because it never really is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sure from what you're saying. I'm not sure I've had authentic jerk. Well, we have a couple of places back home. Oh yeah, because you had me with the box and we were already not eating chicken, so. Right, I haven't had You ever got that jerk shrimp? They don't uh, have it, you know what, they don't I have it on so. the menu. I've had their snacks. You gotta ask, because they don't have it on the menu. Mmm. Like, I've gotten like a jerk shrimp salad. Mm hmm And they don't usually do that. It's not on the menu, but if you ask, then they'll jerk do shrimp. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would try that. Mm -hmm. I like what? And I don't think they do jerk fish. Do they do jerk fish over there? They do snapper, but they fry it. Mm. Or they grill. I think they do grilled and fried. They might do it if asked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Child, when I lived in Jamaica, when I lived, girl, me, when I lived in Jamaica, it been a past life. <laughs> when I went to visit, mm -hmm. I was there for so damn long. I was there for like ten days. Wow. So when I went to visit Jamaica some years ago, um, still to this day, like the best meal I have ever had in my life was we went to this beach called Lil Ochi. And you pick like they'll go out into the into the ocean and mm -hmm. like catch the fish, bring it back, all the fish on a stick, mm -hmm. throw them in an ice chest, and they're still like flapping around. And you get to pick which fish you want out the thing. Then you pick your fish, they take it, and they jerk it on the grill. Mm -hmm. And they serve it with like some good. kind of cocoa bread type stuff mm -hmm. and. Whatever else they have, like, in the foil on the grill. So, when they open the foil, mm. like, all the meat is just, like, falling off the bone of the fish. That sounds so good. When I tell you that is the best meal I have ever had in my life to date, like, girl. That sounds good. I mean, you had it in, in I mean, the correct place. The freshest, mm. the most flavorful mm. The most tent girl, it was just like orgasm in the mouth. Like it was just perfection. <laughs> and then outside there in Jamaica too, we were in Kingston partying. I got some street meat, so it's like I got some jerk chicken on the street, like after club mm -hmm. type of thing. That's Baby, uh, y'all ain't had jerk chicken. <laughs> you ain't had it till you had it off the street uh, car. Huh? If you ain't been to Kingston. And been out on the street after the club and got some jerk chicken. <laughs> it don't hit the same. Now, Boswell's is extremely close, almost identical. They're extremely close, but they don't. What makes it different is like when they're out there cooking it out mm -hmm. there, it's so fresh. Mm -hmm. And the chicken is different too. So let's get into that. The chicken is different. Like when we were out there, I was with a homegirl of mine. Because her husband is from there and he owns the house there and he um God but knock the whole table down. He owns a house there and he owns a chicken farm because he his business supplies eggs to a lot of the local grocery stores in um in Jamaica, like in Kingston and Clarendon, which is like a little side country town right outside of Kingston. And then he has a beef patty business where his company makes beef patties and they distribute mm -hmm. them to different companies, I mean different stores, blah blah blah. So we were there. His mom was staying at the house. We stayed in his house while we were there. He had his mom lived there so that she can cook for us every day, clean up for us every day, blah, blah, blah. So she was like, do y'all want some chicken? He was like, yeah, sure. We'll get some chicken. Like, where you want to go? He said, oh, well, let's just go to the farm and get some chicken. So I'm thinking, cool, we're going to just go over here, pick up the chicken, come back. No big deal. <laughs> she meant kill the chicken. She meant... Go to the farm where the chickens were free, real free range chickens just running about. This lady chased the chicken down, caught the chicken, wrung the chicken neck right there, threw it in a bag, and was like, Come on, let's go. Mm. Girl, I was just mm. like, <laughs> I'm gonna eat that. Like, you just literally wrung this chicken neck in front. 
gonna be in you gonna come best for him to table for real yeah got <laughs> back to the house she took out the bag put it on the damn counter started plucking all the feathers off the chicken shot the head off and this girl just ripping it up i have never yeah. and the chicken legs were literally like little legs you know people when you back in the day say oh girl he got chicken legs you meant that his, his legs were skinny mm -hmm. like the chicken legs were literally skinny and they were so lean because they were free like they ran around all day Lord. so lean when i tell you they to cook that chicken the freshest most lean like clean tasting chicken i have ever had in my life like this shit i mean we eat chicken because we just used to it. this is what it is what we have but this shit is like girl this may as well be worse than gmo like manufactured like not even coming from a real chicken body type chicken compared to what the chicken tastes like there and i remember yeah, asking the owner mm -hmm. of bothwell why they don't get their chicken from Jamaica and they get all these seasons and everything else. And he said the U.S. does not allow the restaurants to order their chicken from out of the country. They got to get it from him. <clears throat> right. You, you should watch, uh, y'all, if y'all ever watch, y'all remember Super Size Me? Mm-hmm. With mm -hmm. the man that ate the McDonald's and all that? Y'all need to watch Super Size Me Part 2. It talks about the chicken industry. It's, it's, it's a dope terrible. documentary. It's a dope documentary. I was like, I watched What the Hell years ago. Oh, back that one, I was like, back in my vegan days, baby. I'm never eating me. Back in my vegan days, that 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 should have shell shocked you right there. Yeah, it is. It's terrible. As I put the chicken in my mouth, <laughs> I was it's like, ter it's terrible. It's, it really is terrible. It's terrible. I mean, we don't eat like this once a week when we're filming for you guys. So. Which is why we're able to stay slim and trim and nice and cute and all that. And we know how to detox and we know how to fast and all that stuff. So that's a whole other topic for a whole other day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is pretty sad. But their chicken, all that to say, the chicken in Jamaica is real chicken. That's really fresh, really free, right? Even the eggs, like, mm -hmm. once you would get the eggs mm -hmm. from there to bring home to the breakfast for us, so fresh mm -hmm. oh my god it's like that was just great right yeah, it's like a completely different experience like oh they laid them let me go grab them from out the nest go to the house crack them up. i mean completely wow. different even the fruit is different there like the coconuts and the mangoes different than the ones we got here mm -hmm. whole different experience it's probably in its original form mm -hmm. i have demolished this potato you really have. And they had a they had a coconut tree in their backyard at his house. Mm hmm So she's like, Oh, you want some coconut juice? And I, a coconut water. I was like, Yeah, sure. <laughs> she went to the back and chopped up the tree, cut open with like a big old knife and stuck a straw and he was like, Here. I was like, Oh. Thank thank you. Mm -hmm. Now when I drank it, I was a little like, because it was hot. You know, like um, right off the was, tree. I'm right, like, it's not refrigerated. It was hot. I was like, oh, this is a little, it was a little, I think like a, a little, it's an acquired taste when you get it fresh off the tree versus. I'm not a huge coconut water fan. I love coconut water, but I prefer mine from Costco in the, <laughs> from Costco in the, in the, in the container, in the bottle. Cause fresh off the tree, I got to get a little used to that. I ain't really, I ain't there yet. I. So do it taste like water or do it taste like milk? What is the difference? You know, it tastes like water. Hmm. Cause it's water in it. You, you don't need the coconut milk. When you pour the water from the coconut in a blender and take the the, the flesh of the coconut oh, yeah, and blend out it. and blend it, that's how you get the milk. Okay, that makes sense. So it's water. It's not like coconut water. But when it's hot like that, because it's like, you know, Jamaica's already hot. And it's hot outside. You cut off the tree, but it's hot. So it has like that kind of sour type taste. Mm -hmm. It's like oh. hot water. It's in a tree. You know, it's inside of a nut and outside in a tree. Right, right, right. So it's. You know that little taste that coconut water has, even when it's cold, like that little tinge. Right. That imagine it being, yeah. Imagine being hot. Mm, yeah. I don't like coconut water. I love coconut water, but I don't like all types of coconut water. They're not created equally. Right. right. Be the cocoa trash. Get it out of here. <laughs> Plus, at your mom, judge her. Don't judge me. Be the cocoa. I don't like it. Theirs tastes sour. Like I don't. I don't like. I've that. had that one before too. I don't. I don't like it. Like even a curve one, I don't know. I just they're like, not the best, but they're I'll deal with them, but they're not the best either. Mm -hmm. I like the um Whole Foods 365 brand. Mm -hmm. I've never had that water. Mm -hmm. 
it's good. And surprisingly enough, even though I know everybody's gonna be like, dun, 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 to these people in New Orleans, but the Rouse's brand of coconut water. Ooh, speaking of, too. wait, I believe that number one because y'all, I know y'all not all in New Orleans, but if y'all ever come, Rouse's has a drink, it's coconut water with a sparkling. Mm -hmm. I like the pineapple one. That one's good. Oh, see, it's like mm -hmm. a pineapple sparkling coconut mm -hmm. water. They have all kinds of flavors. They got the berry. They got I don't like, like the, the other one. Them. They got mango. They got. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I never tried them because you know I don't do the sparkling mm -hmm. water thing. But right, but that it it, it tastes like coconut water. You would like it. It don't. Yeah. Like, it don't taste like a uh, Perrier. No, I don't like the. I don't like the fizz. Oh right, you don't like carbonation. I don't like the carbonation okay, of okay. sparkling water. So mm -hmm. y'all. Mm hmm I don't know. I just can't get with it. But I like kombucha. Yeah. And that's carbonated that's too. But yeah. Wait, so you don't drink soda? Not really. No. I guess I've never seen mm -hmm. you drink one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've had them in my life, but they yeah. don't I don't have yeah, a soda person. Right. You know, I haven't like I haven't purchased soda for my house girl since before I was born. Oh, wow. Right. I don't really just buy soda like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. But if I do, of course it's gonna be the uh, blood orange San Pellegrino Italian oh, soda. Oh, wee mm. wee, oh, oui, excuse me. <laughs> um, My favorite. I just don't. I don't know. It's something about that sparkling water that I just. No, that one is not sparkling water. Oh, it's not. What is it? It's just like a it's soda. soda. Oh, it's a soda. Okay. It's like a. It's an Italian soda. Okay, okay. You would like that. Well, you may like it. I, I might. It's just it's I not don't sparkling know. water at all. Mm -hmm. You know, do you think that uh, that you think that soda and sparkling water taste the same? Not at all. I don't think so either. Not at all. Like I think that if I if somebody offered me a coke and I just you know somebody have a taste for something and you just mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like right. want the one off thing, I could handle drinking a coke. I like kombucha; it's carbonated, but sparkling water just. I never liked it. It almost like feels. Peter. It almost tastes like flat. Mm -hmm. well, even though I know flat water is technically supposed to be this because it doesn't have any carbonation, it tastes but like a flat soda. Yeah, it kind of tastes like mm -hmm. yeah. I don't like it. I don't. Keto mm -hmm. made me like it. I never liked it before, but when you not eating anything that's sugar, like it was. I don't know what it was, but yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. I not all brands are like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 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 Mm -mm. Like why is this even on the shelves? It is trash. I remember um <laughs> was it last year? No, the year before last now shit. 2020 it was mm -hmm. like nothing. You can't even really count that. So 2019 I was working for um it was the last year I was working for Essence. Mm -hmm. And we were working, getting prepared for the show because I worked on the production side of producing the show. The music part of the show that everybody did like the concerts. Right, right. Um, we're in our office in Superdome. I mean, we have like food and stuff because we're there all day, like 12, 16 hours a day, mm -hmm. working. Girl, and we was like one of those nights, it was like down to a nitty gritty. We had been really busy, and all they had left to drink in there was LaCroix. LaCroix. I knew you just said that. And I had never had LaCroix before, but I had seen it a lot. But I went on like sparkling water, so I was enjoying the food. I was just drinking everything else, and I was tired of drinking coffee all day. And I, so I was like, I just need something. They don't have any more water. They got to go to the store. Let me just drink this little girl. I almost threw up in my mouth. I'm done. I, which flavor? Girl, I don't know. I don't remember. That was 2019. I don't remember what flavor it was, but it was trash. Yeah, like, and they had so much of it. Like, they just was popping them back, popping them back. Y'all yeah. like LaCroix? I like Spindrift. That one's pretty good. I think I have seen that one before. Mm -hmm. They have so many of them now. You know what? Other people get about that Topeka. Is it called Topeka? Oh, it comes in like, the, like a Coke bottle, it's sparkling water. Oh, Los Topicana. Something, or something, something like that. This is a Mexican one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I never had that one in the glass. You had that one too? No, oh. I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm saying people like it and they be getting it and it's that. Yeah, I'm. I'm done. I have. I'm done. I'm. I'm. Listen. I'm done with the sparkling water. I. I just can't. There's never been one that I have liked. I don't like the the Perrier one you said. I don't like the yeah. uh, what's the other one? The Pel what is it called? Pelagrino? San Pellegrino. Yeah. No, it's a. It's a, another one. It's like yeah. Pellegrino, but it's the one that come in the. It's green paper. Yeah, that's San Pellegrino. 
Perry hair is in green bottle mm -hmm. with green paper. And so is San Pellegrino. They both are, but except San Pellegrino makes sparkling water and it makes soda. Okay. They yeah. both, that's both of them. I don't like that. You like? I don't, well, like, I don't like it. I don't like it. Any other one is the only thing about coming up with. I don't want to try y'all either. <laughs> I didn't try that other one, Bubbly. Um, I haven't tried. Oh, you know what? I have tried that one. How it tastes? I don't like that one. I had that one. So what is it? What sparkling water? Like no, what is making it taste different? Uh, well, some of them have actual like fruit and like flavor in it, rather than it just being carbonated water. Gotcha. See, sparkling water in general is like a carbonated water, like salsa water, right? Versus when they add flavor. Now, Lacroix, they have all these flavors that really taste the same, essentially. But nasty, right? But. Like the spindrift one I like, they actually put like a little bit of strawberry puree in it, I believe. So it's like mm. a sparkling strawberry. Okay. Wow. Nah, I don't want to try it though. <laughs> Not with my own money. I'll get you one. It's Ooh. good. You done? I'm full? I am. Y'all, I didn't know I was going to eat all of that. That was a big ass potato. It was. It's gone. Mine it pretty good. much gone. I ate all the inside. Right. You ate the important parts. It still got turned around different. It don't look the same on camera as it look right here. I ate the inside. See? Like, I ate the inside. It's just like this little half part. Mine is not all opened up. Right. Mine like is yours is opened up. Mm -hmm. But I ate it. I ate, the, like I said, the important parts. It's It was good. Like I said, I don't think it's jerk. I think it's more like a spicy. Is that barbecue. a true jerk? It's not a. It's jerk adjacent. I think that it's like a spicy barbecue, but it is good. I do like it. I would actually get it again. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's some other things on that menu that I would want to try. Mm -hmm. I want to try their seafood pasta. I like. I don't that. know how I feel about everybody's. It's a potato place. That's the only thing that makes me skeptical. Yeah, because I like, do what you do and stop doing other stuff. They also do fries, y'all. Like, so you can get that oh, yeah. on top of fries. On top of fries. Because like the same thing, so mm -hmm. cut up potatoes. But and I thought about that, but I do like the baked potato aspect. Like mm -hmm. the way a baked potato tastes versus fries. French fries. Yeah. yeah I was like, I don't fries. But the pasta, like they use penny. And that's on, I don't know. I'm not, yeah, I'm not a big penny fan. fan either. I'm not a big penny fan. But I am... Mm -hmm. I'm not a big penne fan, but I am accustomed to having seafood pasta in New Orleans be with penne pasta. Oh. So. So it's traditional. Yeah. It, it, I mean, not everybody does it, but it's very common. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'm more apt to like be like, okay with that versus if it was like a red sauce type pasta, then I'm like, mm -hmm. oh. or an I like that pasta. red penne. That's been, I feel like I like that better. Oh, no, maybe that was rigatoni. That might have been working on me. Never mind. I personally am like spaghetti noodle type girl. Like whether it be spaghetti or fettuccine or linguine. Fettuccine. If I do it, I, don't, I, I like bow ties too. Like, ooh, bow ties taste real. Like bow ties is good, but I don't know why it always tastes like, I don't know. It's something about it. What? I don't know. It's something about bow ties. It always tastes undone to me. Like, they must not know how to cook it right. I don't know. I'm not the biggest bow tie I like bow tie for like Alfredo pasta. Yeah. It tastes really good. My mom, she has, she used to make some stuff with bow tie. It was pretty good, but I'm mm -hmm. not. What's the spirally one called? That's like the skinny, like the tight spirals. Not rotini. It might be rotini. Okay. It might it be, might be rotini. Mm -hmm. I like those too. Yes. With like a, a red sauce. Yeah, I know we're going on a tangent. But yeah, right. y'all, sorry. We didn't even on a whole nother tangent. I, I, me, I love pasta and I love red sauce. If there was one we meal. We have to do a pasta so, uh, episode. Yeah, we do. If there was one meal. Okay, so if there were only one meal I could eat for the rest of my life, it would be spaghetti and meat sauce, hands down. Period. It would be wow. spaghetti and meat sauce. Me and my son, like, we both love spaghetti. We would eat off of that every day, all day. Like, don't even think about it. What would your one meal be? My one meal for the rest of my life? life? One thing Ooh, for the rest of your hard. life. That's one hard. thing. Wait, is this, do we have to consider weight gain and things like that? No. What it matter? It's the only thing your ass gonna eat for the rest of your life. So, whatever it is, you damn, that's hard, y'all. I knew mine. I really don't know, because I like mac and cheese, but I'm not like a main course mac, like that's not gonna be just what I'm gonna eat. You can eat one thing for the rest of your life. I will eat spaghetti and meat sauce. 
Girl. Thanksgiving. <laughs> I will well, eat Thanksgiving meal, but then I'll be back in the house. Eat, well, yeah, it'll be one meal. So what would your one meal be? A Thanksgiving dressing, place? macaroni and cheese, yes. And what else? Dressing, macaroni and cheese, cabbage, sweet potatoes, you hit this a plate. dinner roll. You hit this plate. <laughs> Greens. I should have been more specific. Like, what cranberry what, sauce? What is one made? thing. Like my thing is spaghetti and meat sauce. That's one thing. She got a whole. <laughs> Feast on one plate as one meal. Yeah. Like when somebody say one meal, you gotta be like spaghetti meat sauce, rice Thanks and gravy and dinner. Like rice and gravy with, with, with roast beef or baked uh, potato or pizza or you know what I'm saying. You getting there's no one food I feel that connected to outside of mac and cheese, and I just can't lie to myself and say I eat them for the rest of my life. So well, guys, like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> share, <laughs> hit the notification bell, follow us on Instagram. Look at all of our previous videos to see where we have been before and stay tuned for next week where you'll see where we'll end up next. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Amber. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace. <laughs>